Well, Boston police called in when a moving truck nearly cuts a tree in half. This happened on Fairfield Street earlier today. The good news, <laughs> no one was hurt, but perhaps the truck. Yeah, <laughs> and those trucks, they're going to be everywhere in the coming days, moving thousands of college students back into the city. And tonight, John Keller wants to welcome them to Boston. <laughs> and share a little <laughs> advice as well. John, what do you think the students need to know to make this a smooth transition? Well, David and Lisa, first and foremost, they need to know that we welcome them here. They're a vital contributor to our economy and we encourage them to spend all their money and send home for more when that runs out and they also need to know a few basic rules of living here that will serve them well if they obey so you never got into trouble when you were in college of course not nonetheless Boston Mayor Marty Walsh has some advice for student newcomers a lot of the neighborhoods that these kids live in their neighborhoods and in the summertime people love it because they're so quiet and then the fall comes and you know Christmas in September I mean all of a sudden now that their streets are disrupted it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas it's not so much the chaos of move-in season, but what comes after. Ignoring all the warnings and getting your truck wedged beneath a bridge does not make a good first impression. Just moving in? Just moving in. Sorry. And take it from your older neighbors who've lived in the city before. Throwing your trash on the lawn is a no-no. Fireball nips? Really? These cans are there for a reason. Use them. If the vac gets out of hand, I mean, you have sanitary conditions, which are really a big, uh, yeah, a big thing happen. around here. I mean, you'll see rats going from dumpster to dumpster, so sure. you just don't want that. Yeah. And while we understand you want to party, remember, you are not the only person on Earth. Just be respectful. You don't need to be screaming at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. You can save that till Friday. And one more thing. Go Red Sox! This is Red Sox country. If you want to wear these, wait till you're home for Thanksgiving. What about Yankee fans? You know, Yankee hat wearing I mean, people. it's not a good look around here. Yeah, like, don't do people it. will give you don't bad do looks. Don't do it. Turn them inside out, you'll be fine in the city. Now, we asked our Twitter followers to offer advice of their own, and boy, did you respond. Put down the phone and watch where you're walking was a common refrain. Don't block the doors on the subway was another. And Phil from Dorchester weighed in with perhaps the most timeless advice. Quote, don't do what I did in college, end quote. <laughs> now, I'm sure that you had your foot at Emerson, David, but you wouldn't have to offer anyone that kind of advice. I, I was a commuter. I was a saint. I never caused any problems. Mm -hmm. and Parking Lee, problems, perhaps. I know, Lisa, you're, you're over at the University of Washington, all mellow there. Oh, also a saint, yes. Saints? Yes. She's the troublemaker in the group. Forget the pulp Sorry, on yeah. with Colbert. I work with saints. <laughs> By the way, those fireball... They weren't yours, were no, they? No, they were not. No, oh, no. Appreciate no. it. Thank you, John. <laughs> our number of the night, by the way, comes to us from this uh, influx of kids coming into our city. 152,000. That's the number of students enrolled in Boston colleges and universities. By the way, that number does not include all those students just across the Charles.